Hi there, and in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at some of the new features in Motion 5 where it came with the latest update. So this is Motion version 5.2.1 available in the App Store. Um, it's great value at around $50 and it really has a, lo a lot of features as you can see from my um, previous video tutorials where we're showing how powerful really this software is. But one thing that it often lacked was the ability to do 3D um, text and 3D graphics for um, title sequences. But in this new version they've added in the option for doing these 3D text. So you can see here some examples um, that come with motion, some templates of the type that you can begin to use now. So uh, you can either utilize their um, pre-made pre, uh, templates here or we can build our own from scratch and that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So we'll start with a blank motion project and then down here in our text you can see now if you actually press and hold down you get the option for 3D text. This is a new option that comes with this version of motion. So when you've selected our 3D text you can click on your stage and we can put in our text and once that's been entered over here in our inspector panel you can change the font type that we're using here so let's get a different font type and then we can also adjust other properties of the font such as the size our alignment and spacing uh, once you're happy with how that looks you can position it where we want on our stage so I'm going to center it up there and as this is 3D text uh, if we go into the um, text and appearance you'll find here that we can turn on or off the 3D text we can choose the depth and the weight of our text and different types of edges and materials so let's take a look at what happens if we play around with depth so if we slide the depth slider forwards you'll see here that what we're actually doing is beginning to create some some more depth to our text um, if we change the weight it will adjust the thickness of our text so it's like making it bold and we can choose the type of edge that you want whether it's square or you can have a beveled edge um, you can also hollow out the text so it becomes a, uh, a ring so there's quite a lot of things that we can do with this you can also change the type of lighting that this text is getting whether it's backlit or front lit or lit, lit from above so you can play around with that and also down here in our materials you can change the type of material and again Motion provides you with a bunch of pre-made materials here already. So there's different types of wood, concrete fabrics. Um, if you're not happy with these, then of course you can create your own textures, which I'll cover in another tutorial. So I'm going to go for some blue plastic. And you'll see it changes the, the color in there. Now I'm not quite happy with that um, font so I will just come back over into our format and we can change our font to something else maybe I'll go with this and in our appearance I'm gonna change this to a rounded edge and I'm gonna knock down the weight a little bit And there we go. So once we've got this text in our stage and you're happy with how it looks, you can then begin to animate it by um, rotating it around in 3D space. So if you come to our properties here and we expand the rotation area, you'll see we have the X, Y, and Z axis for rotating the text around. So we can rotate it around the X axis or you can rotate it around the y-axis which will spin it in a horizontal manner or we can rotate it around the z-axis. So
so that shows that it really is a an actual 3D block that we can rotate around in 3D space and this of course can be animated using our keyframe animation so we'll go ahead and do that so I'll turn on my keyframe so you hit the record button and I'm going to drag my slider to frame 00, zero. so this will be our opening place and I'm just going to hit plus next to rotation so that keyframes this current position I'll drag forward our slider to one second and we'll manipulate our rotation factor. And you'll see it's now automatically will create the transition between those two places. So when I hit play, our text spins around in 3D space. And of course we can then add a camera to this scene um, so we could zoom the camera in and out that can be animated also. Um, we can also begin to play around with the position so again as this is 3D space we can move it towards and away from us as well. So if we move it out into the distance I'll drag back here to our first scene. I'll turn on my keyframing again. Click plus for position. And we'll come forwards to our... Let's go to one and a half seconds. Maybe 1.1. And we'll bring this closer to us. Like that. Okay, and now turn off our keyframing, hit play, and there's our text spinning in from a distance into view. So that's just a quick basic overview of what you can do using the 3D text feature that is found in the latest version of Apple's Motion. And uh, I hope you have some fun with it and play around with it some more. And um, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we'll be going into creating um, some different material effects and some other um, special effects that we can do with 3d text in apple motion